Heather Askinosi with Energy Muse. And I just want to say thank you for joining today and watching this because I know everybody's really busy and I know there's so many things to do on our fabulous planet. So thank you for taking the time to invest. I hope this information will be of help to you. Um, I know it's something that I'm playing around with and it's been helpful to me. Um, and with the holidays coming, um, the holidays alone always just bring up stuff, regardless of how um, long you've been on this journey, how long you've been working on yourself. Um, I know I've been doing this over 25 years, and every time I, you know, get to the holiday season, when I'm at family events, and even though I love my family a lot, um, you know, one still can get triggered or things come up from the past or whatnot. So, how do we use crystals? Um, to help us through the holidays. Well, I am one of those people that I like to have crystals in my house and have it a bit more um, as it's part of the environment. It's not, you know, in your face. So um, whenever I have people over for the holidays, I like to put some crystals on my table and use that kind of like an altar, maybe in, in one kind of case where I will put, um, I'll set my table, but I'll put some very earthy type energetic stones to not only ground the space, but maybe ground the conversation to make sure that the energy of what's happening is very um, uh, fluid and that nobody gets caught in old patterns. And, you know, we, not that we can control all that, but if we could use the, the beautiful world of energy and the earth to help us through the holiday seasons, why not? So what I'm really liking a lot lately is to use, to use these petrified wood. And these are these plates that we got. And, you know, I know they're a little bit, they're a little bit pricey um, in the fact that, you know, they're above $50, but, um, they are magnificent because you could use them in a couple ways. Some people are using them as an actual cheese platter, which is kind of cool. But um, another way that you can use them is putting them as a centerpiece or in the center of your table because this has a really grounding energy. And plus it just looks really cool and it adds a lot of nice decor to the table. But what I like to do is to hold a piece and once again, give your crystal a job and just say that, you know, I really want this to hold the attention of being grounding and having harmonious um, conversations around the holiday table and that um, everything is fluid and everybody is getting along, which is really, really what makes a great, a great dinner, right? So I like to use that, and what I sometimes do is I will use that as a um, focal point and then I'll put other crystals around it. So for this is, is that, um, once again, using a quartz crystal, I really, I highly suggest that everyone has some kind of crystal point for this upcoming holiday season. Um, and it's once again, give your crystal a job, whatever you think your intention wants to be. But one suggestion would be, you know, my intention is to keep the energy clear, make sure that the, um, the conversation stays very positive and upbeat. And if anything comes, comes that is uncomfortable, that we all communicate openly and then it moves on and, um, the day is blessed and joyful. So, and then I'll put that on the petrified wood. Now. I always like to add the flowers because I am a big person about bringing in the plants because I think plants have medicine. I think flowers have medicine. And I personally like to bring in the white roses because they help to purify an environment. So I don't know, um, for those of you that have um, got our book Crystal Muse, there is a chapter in there about how you could use, it's in the Love Guru chapter about how do you use white roses to purify a bed after a broken up relationship. So it's that same kind of concept where you're using the energy of the roses to help purify the environment in space. Once again, just on the white roses, if someone's been sick or somebody, there's been some kind of 
energy in the house that's heavy after you've saged and done all the bells and sounds. Sometimes it's nice to put um, white roses into the house just to kind of purify and bring in that floral medicine. Very powerful. I don't know about you, but I'm just loving these flowers too. So anything that has um, that kind of fall energy, invoking the, um, the spirit of the flowers and that medicine of the flowers and bringing that on the table. So this is coming soon. I'm in love with this. It's amber, it's raw amber. It should be on our site um, probably by the end of the week. Amber is a beauty stone. Okay, so for all you women out there who wanna really kind of tap in not only to your exterior beauty, but your inner beauty, it's um, a stone that has a reputation for beauty, but it's also a very protective stone, and it helps to break up energy. So once again, um, programming it, giving it a job, may our conversation be blessed, um, what, may we be protected, may higher frequencies align our dinner table. So amber is a beautiful stone that you could use in multi-different facets, definitely for protection, when you're wanting to work on inner beauty because beauty does come from the inside and um, bringing beauty into your holiday season. Once again, you make a minor grid on top of the petrified wood. So those are a couple things. Um, tidbit, I know you guys already know this, but I, I just, I want, it's so important, I wanna keep going at it. Always sage your environment before the guests arrive and sage your environment after the guests leave, okay? So you wanna make sure that that's a really important um, component. And what I like to do, two little things that are really important. I also, around the holidays, I wanna make sure I bring the sweetness in. So I will burn sweet grass after I've saged. And another really cool little tip is um, putting some hot water on the stove in a big, big um, pot and adding a couple pieces of cinnamon to the water. Sometimes I'll add a couple bit, little pieces of cloves, but I'll add maybe three or four cinnamon sticks. And what you do is you let the water boil and then you bring it to a simmer. And what that does, it makes your home harmonious. The energy of the cinnamon is very calming. I know it has a spicy kind of um, scent to it, but it brings this kind of very soothing, calming, everyone's fun and joyful and playful. So you're bringing once again in the spices too. So we're bringing all the elements in, the earth, the flower, the spices. Um, so lots of different ways that we can bring all the energies into our environment for the holidays to help us be harmonious and stable. Bring it all in. I mean, it's one of those times of year that you gotta have as many tools as possible. So are there any questions? Yes. Lots of questions. Um, what would you, um, what would the crystals be that you recommend to bring to someone else's house that you're visiting during the holidays, like as an offering or like a gift? Okay. So you know what, um, in this particular case, because I do think that crystals are amazing and more and more people are using them for home decor just because they're beautiful and they have an energy. So I always like to, to maybe keep it with white, a white quartz crystal. You could always bring um, pink, you know, rose quartz, but the thing that's cool with the quartz crystals is it's white. It usually will go with pretty much anyone's home decor. It's all about being clear. It's about keeping um, positive and light and just clarity. And during this time as a hostess gift, Everyone wants to be clear. Everyone wants to um, tap into their inner light. So I think uh, quartz crystal is a really good go-to stone for the holidays and great for holiday gifting to hostess gifts. If you're bringing a crystal like with you, sort of like for mm -hmm. protection, what as you're, when you're going into someone's house, like not necessarily that you're gonna give away. Okay. Is there anything different that you would recommend? Okay, is the protection for you yeah. while you're visiting your friend for a party? Mm -hmm. Wow, Whew. okay, that's a deep question. Wow, all right, wow. Okay, so you're, you're wanting to take protection with you to go to a party, okay. Um, so anyway, this is what I also, okay. I like to always wear amber. So I'll wear amber on my, bra on my wrist, I'll wear amber on my neck, or sometimes I'll just carry a piece of amber. I think it's a really good protection. Once again, black tourmalines are great for protection 
black onyxes are also a really good stone for protection. If you just wanna have an extra um, shield of the energy around you, because I, I do agree with you that during the holidays, there's a lot of um, energy going on and it does create kind of like a barrier, an extra shield. Um, but after you go back from a holiday party that there's been a ton of people, you know, take a salt bath or a salt shower and scrub yourself with salt to just clear your energy field. Can they put sage in a spray bottle? for smokeless environment. You know what, that is an amazing, I love that, because more and more people, you know, not everyone can go and smudge an environment. So, once again, with that, if you are taking sage and putting it in a in water, um, always remember to ask that the spirit of the sage um, infuse the water with cleansing and purification. It's really important, I think, right now more than ever. We've got to remember that we are connected. Even though this is a flower, it's got a spirit. We all have an energy. And so we need to connect with that spirit and align with it and ask it for its medicine and not just assume that it's going to do. The whole point of this is connecting with that energy. So um, I love um, adding the sage and asking for the sage spirit to be infused with the water to help purify and cleanse when you spritz it. Beautiful. Thank you for asking that and suggesting that. Um, all right. So I have a question that was asked before the live. I'm okay. hosting Christmas dinner for my family this year, and I would love to know how I can stay in my own energy. I tend to get really wrapped up in everyone else's energies and end up completely drained. Okay. And you know what, I think that um, I think that's such a great um, question because when you're hosting, al hosting alone is, it, you know, you want everyone to have an amazing time and there's so many details when you're hosting an event with the food and the environment and making sure everybody is, you know, has, when everyone's coming in. So there's a lot of pressure with that. Um, so once again, before, all of this, it's really important for you to set the tone of your space. So I'm gonna say it again. When you are saging your home or when you're setting your table with the crystals, really put that intention out. Hey, this is gonna be one of the best holiday dinners we've ever had with our family. We're gonna be grounded. I'm gonna be in my space. I'm gonna allow everyone to be who they are. I'm not gonna take things personally. I'm gonna just love my family, and I'm gonna be like, you know what? We are all who we are, and I'm gonna come from a compassionate space, and I'm gonna be appreciative that we are all here together, alive, and that we are, um, we all came together. Life is busy, people are busy, so that when we could come together with our families and good friends, and even just have a time together, that is sacred. No matter how much chaos and karma and history we all have, the person holding the space of this event, they're in a very powerful position in, in the way that you will set the tone. So set the tone that you're gonna own your own energy and everyone's going to um, come in and it's gonna shift this year. That's why we work with all this stuff. That's why we work with the energy. These are tools. Tap into them now more than ever and see how these holidays are different than holidays, other holidays, because of the intention and how you showed up and then how you created that environment and had other people show up in a different way. This is how we create the change. We really are powerful. We just have to take the time to acknowledge it, that we can we can create amazing events at the holidays. Um, so we've talked about this a little bit, but this one's a little bit more specific. How can I cleanse my home of negative energy others bring as well as how can I cleanse myself? People tend to talk to me about their problems and I feel like my good energy and luck are gone. Okay, well you know what, what I love about um, about you is, is that, that people feel safe enough around you that they feel like they can be vulnerable with you and that they trust you enough where they can share because so many people wanna talk but they don't always feel safe with everyone. So in that way, I, you know, I think look at the blessing and the gift that you have that people feel safe to talk to you. Um, once again, with all of that, it's about how you show up. Hey, look, I'm going to be someone who's going to listen, but you don't necessarily need to take it on. So once again, I'm going to go back to the book. If you guys have not um, bought Crystal Muse yet, um, there is a chapter called Cutting the Cords that I think is 
amazing. And if you haven't seen that chapter, highly recommend looking at that. It's about not taking on anybody else's energy, how to cut the cords with others with light and love and send it back to them. But a very powerful chapter in this book and um, the feedback we've been getting is that people have been doing this ritual and it's really, really helping them. So um, highly suggest maybe taking a look at that chapter. Um, okay, someone on Facebook asked, how do we warmly welcome guests and also how can we bring love and light by blessing our guests? Okay. Um, well, once again, when you're hosting, you guys set the environment. And if you think about it, how do you want to be welcomed into somebody's house? You just want to feel comfortable. I think that sometimes the best parties or the best places that I've ever gone haven't been the places that have had, you know, the most money and the most lavishness. It's just I walked in and I felt like, God, I felt like my heart, I felt at home, I felt comfortable, I felt happy, and I knew that the people that invited me were happy to have me there, and I was happy to be there. Um, there really is an exchange of energy when you go to somebody's house. So what is a really nice thing is once everybody gets together before you eat, by blessing the food, blessing all the things that took to get that food on the table, and the farmers, and all the different people that went into preparing. I think that maybe going back to some of these, like taking the time for us to be grateful, not just to be grateful for like, oh, hey, you know, we're grateful for, for our friends and our family and our health. Those are important things, but let's even take it deeper, grateful for the food that we're eating and the farmers that made it and the people that brought it to our table and the people that went and shopped for it. I just think there's so many levels. And the more we go deeper into that gratitude, it's infused with the rest of the people in um, in the group, but we just did a retreat in Kauai and it was very important that every meal was blessed. And I literally, I think everyone can agree that was on that retreat. The food tasted different after we made that time to bless it, so. Are there any crystals that you would use to, that are like welcoming for like in the doorway or um, in certain rooms or okay. something? I'm really into right now, once again, this can change, so don't hold me to it, but um, right now, today, I'm really into having rose quartz um, at my front door. So I have black tourmaline on the exterior side of my doors, and I have rose quartz on the interior side, so that when someone walks in, if they make it through the protection <laughs> wall, they will walk into an energy of love. So right now, I feel like for me, that's very simple. It's an affordable way to bring crystals into your life, um, and you can feel an energy shift with that. So these are a couple techniques on how to use crystals in your home for the holidays. Please, um, you know, let us know how these are working for you. If you've tried any of these, we love feedback. I just want to say once again, our crystal community and the people that are really just supporting the energy of the earth right now and are just talking about these conversations that before maybe we weren't all talking about are people feeling safe and comfortable to talk about. So thank you for being leaders. Thank you for um, trusting Energy Muse as being um, a voice and a guide and somebody on the road with you. We're really grateful and thank you for all your support. And um, I'm Heather Askinosi with Energy Muse. Namaste. Thank you.